Okay, let's get back to the breaking news in Ansonia. Still not a lot of details available right now, but we do know police have been investigating in front of a house since the very early morning hours. Yeah, so we're going to get you straight out to Fox 61's Gabby Molina. She's there at the scene right now. Gabby, what can you tell us? Tim, Erica, an update right now at 7 o'clock is that the road is back open here on Myrtle Avenue. I want to give you a look. There is still one police car in front of the house where this investigation was taking place. But you can see a car going by right now. Part of Myrtle Avenue at Orchard Street was blocked off, but it just reopened within the last half hour or so. But yeah, this is an investigation that is happening in front of one of these two houses with the pillars in front. And you can again see one police car just pulled up next to the other, but this road is back open. It's not clear what this investigation is about, but we do know that State Police Major Crime Squad was on scene along with some other state police vehicles and Ansonia police vehicles really since midnight. So it's been about seven hours since police have been here in front of this house investigating something that again we have reached out to Ansonia police we've reached out to state police for more details so we are waiting to hear back and as soon as we do we'll pass that information along to you for anyone at home who's wondering why Myrtle Avenue in Ansonia seems a bit familiar that is the same street where missing uh, one-year-old Vanessa Morales lived and her mother was found dead we want to stress that this is we have no indication that these investigations are connected in any way but if you did wonder why that sounded familiar, that is the same street. We are about 0.2 miles away from where that house is, though. This is at the corner of Orchard Street. So back out here live, you can see again one police car still outside of this house, and we are working to get you more information. Again, we have reached out to state police. We've reached out to Ansonia police, and we are hoping to hear back from them. And as soon as we do, we'll pass that information along to you on air, online, and on our Fox 61 News app. Reporting live in Ansonia, Gabby Molina, Fox 61 News.